Once GSCB has sent out your delivery date via email, you will go into eBuddy and set the pickup times for your troops to select for your delivery day of delivery. Once you've logged into eBuddy as a service unit user, on your dashboard you'll see it defaults to the Council tab on the navigation tree. From here, you'll want to select the green delivery tab on the navigation tree to enter your dates. From here, you'll click the settings tab and you'll see that GSCB has already set all of your delivery information for you. Please don't change any of that information. If you see any of it is incorrect, please communicate that the incorrect issues to GSCB as soon as possible. Um, once you've clicked that purple edit settings button at the top, you will want to select uh, enter a time allotment for troops to actually pick up their order. Um, it doesn't have to be exact and the troops don't only have to stay for the time allotment. Um, it's just to get them spaced out in a period of time that gives you enough time to actually give them out and let them count it and sign for it and be on their way. Uh, for the purposes of this video, we are going to do 15 minute increments. And I'm going to keep the uh, default time uh, case overflow to 200. Um, the overflow is how many cases you can allow a troop to pick up per time slot. If they have more than 200 cases to pick up during one time slot, they could then pick another one. Um, so just enter whatever information that you think is, is best there. Um, going a higher number is probably erring on the, the better side. Um, the pickup station is the number uh, the number of pickup stations is the lines that you'll have at your delivery station for the trips to pick up with. If you had a delivery station with two drive through lines or something like that, you could put two and then it allows more troops to pick up during the same time slot. Um, you could do that if you wish. If not, you can leave it at the default of one. Um, your pickup date will already be entered by GSCB, but if perhaps you had two days already um, reserved from your, your delivery station was kind enough to give you two days, you could um, update this date to the next day and um, allow the first day for separating troop orders. Um, otherwise, you can leave it as that same day unless you know you can have another day for your troops to pick up. We don't suggest that. Um, just because booths happen so uh, soon after the pickups happen. So, and you want to give your troops time to get those cookies out to the people they need to go to. So, uh, once you've made sure that date is the same as the date that GSCB has communicated, you will be able to set the actual times for pickup. Um, make sure that when you are entering these times, you give you and your uh, delivery station team the time to actually separate orders by troop. Um, if you want to separate like the first few together, just so everybody knows what they're doing, and then, um, you know, like let your volunteers do the rest of them throughout the day um, in increments, that's fine. Get as many done as you can in that time period, um, and then give your troops as much time as possible to pick up throughout the day after your delivery has occurred and that you've started to separate by troop. For the purposes of this video, we're going to enter 10 a.m. You'll see uh, eBuddy automatically populates the time um, box for you to choose. You can slide them. You can change the minutes. Uh, once you've done that, you click Done. And for the purposes of this video, we're just going to make the end time 5 p.m. for my troops to pick up. And then um, if I wanted to set break times, I could do that. Say I wanted to have lunch. Oh, excuse me. Good gracious, I apologize. Let's get back to the delivery tab and set the settings. Time allotment, 15, we're gonna have one. I know my pickup date. I know my pickup time from 10 a.m. to oh, 5 p.m. And then I'm gonna set a lunch break for 12 p.m. Exactly. And then it's going to be 30 minutes long for us to have a little pizza or something. And I'm going to click the purple update button all the way at the bottom. And you'll see that all of my times have populated that I entered. And from there, to check to make sure that it looks correct, I'm going to click my sign up sheet. Um, and you'll see that all of my time slots are in 15 minute increments. My lunch time is 12 p.m. to 1230. So no one can pick that time. Um, and then 
from here, if you do not like some of the en information that you en uh, entered already, you can go back and update the information to whatever you'd like. Um, I'm just going to clear out the lunch break because we're all going to take shifts. And then I'm going to check to make sure it looks correct. Yep, it removed my lunch time, and you'll see it's still in 15 minute increments. Now, from here, I'll want to communicate. I could use the contacts tab of the actual service unit and email all of my troops and troop cookie chairs. I don't want to email my caregivers, just the troop users um, that the uh, service unit delivery date set. This is this date. You could send out your contact information and whatever else you need to do. You could tell them just to sign up on their delivery tab. If you, um, you'll see that the delivery tab isn't technically available for the service units because it's not available right now. However, if this were um, the actual service unit or the cookie season, you would be able to see that information. And um, if you have any issues with the settings of your delivery tab, you can contact member care at membercare at cbgsc.org or give us a call at 302-456-7150.